This week we'll be going over all of the collectibles in Alan Wake's base game. That means literally all of them. We've done little sections of each one, but this is going to be every single collectible in the game, which is over like 300, so this is going to be a long one. And also, if you're just into all the achievements, you're looking for a specific collectible, whatever it is, check out the playlist that I've got linked down in the description for my whole Alan Wake playlist. We've also got a link to our written guide version of this that we've got over on our website because of course we do that for every one of our guides. And now, let's get to hunting. The first thermos is going to be whenever you're actually able to start moving. You're going to run down the road until you get to the broken bridge to grab this one. The first pyramid you'll run into is in the beginning when the light gives you a gun. You'll go through the combat tutorial and then you can shoot this pyramid from on a fence. The second thermos will be during this tutorial area where you end up grabbing some flares from an emergency box and then before dropping down a ledge, you're going to want to go to the right into this little concrete structure. This one will be sitting on a box. The third thermos is going to be on the path to the lighthouse. You'll be running from a tornado and then on a bench to the right of the lighthouse, you'll find this one. The fourth thermos will be after the cutscene where you end up in a diner. Behind the counter near the Oh Dear Diner sign, you can grab this one. The fifth thermos will be after another cutscene. Once you're outside facing the cabin, you're going to want to turn around and run all the way up the hill, where you'll find this one by a lookout point to see the cabin. The first radio will be when you're first arriving at your cabin. You'll go through the cabin and then out to the back porch, where you can find this one on your right. The sixth thermos will be inside of the cabin, sitting on the counter in the kitchen, right where it should be. We won't actually see the first manuscript until after the incident that starts it all, just like it starts me telling you about how you should join our YouTube memberships. We have membership levels ranging in price with perks like some dope emotes that you can use in the comments of videos and streams, special membership roles over on our Discord, and even being featured in the producer shoutout section at the end of videos. Manuscript 1 and 2 will both be given to you during the cutscene where these are introduced. The first nightmare manuscript will be as you're making your way to the gas station, you come up to a tree that fell onto a fence, go to the left of that, and pick this one up. The seventh thermos will be a while later on after some cutscenes, you're gonna have a car crash and start traveling until you reach the first lumber mill area, Behind the big yellow tractor and behind a white truck, you'll find this one. Manuscript 3 is going to be as you go through the lumber mill area. You'll pass a tractor and a truck, and then you'll find this one sitting on the ground on the path that you have to walk through. These pages glow pretty brightly, so they should be pretty hard to miss. The first chest will be after you're in a building that's knocked down. You'll have to jump out and head through a gate. Then head to the left and you'll see this one sitting by a logging truck. The fourth manuscript will be as you come up to a big yellow tractor a bit later on. Head over to the left and you'll find it sitting in an old shack. The eighth thermos will be while you're crossing a river with a fallen tree trunk. Head over to the left as you step off and near the end of the area you'll find this one on a rock to your right. Manuscript 5 is going to be as you're crossing water over some wooden logs, and you'll need to head over to the right and you'll find this one sitting on some trash by a barrel. Nightmare Manuscript 2 will be a bit later when you come up to the river that you have to cross with some fallen logs and rocks. This will be sitting on the ground near the end of that section. The second chest will be after you climb up from the river. You'll keep going and see a sign that says caution where you can go to the left and climb up a ladder by some logs. You'll go up to the shack there and the chest will be in the back. The night thermos will be a bit later on once you climb up from the river. You're going to head up to some stairs and while facing the opposite of the power switch you can run straight back until you see this one sitting on a rock to the right. The sixth manuscript is going to be a bit later on once you get to a generator that you need to power on and there's going to be a shack to the right of it. Inside of that, you're going to find this one. The second pyramid will be later in the first episode. You'll start up a generator and use a bundle of logs on a crane to create a bridge. You'll go across that and this pyramid will be sitting on a table. 
The second radio is going to be in the lumber yard after you turn on a generator and use a crane to move a pile of logs over as a bridge. Head up to the safe haven light and then into the shack next to it to find this radio. Chest 3 will be a little bit easier. You'll use a crane to move some logs over to form a bridge and then you'll go up to a shed. Behind that will be another shed with a vehicle next to it. The chest is going to be right back there. Manuscript 7 will be slightly later as you're running up the path after a light by a shed. It's in the middle of the path so you can't miss it. The 10th thermos will be a bit later on while you're heading down the hill. You'll see the gas station off in the distance and this one will be on the cliff to your right. The 11th thermos will be shortly after that. You'll jump down on the next path and go to the safe haven light by a generator, then go straight into the left along the cliff wall until you reach this one. The 8th manuscript, again, is going to be super easy to spot as it's on your main pathway that you're going as you're running towards another safe haven light. Chest 4 is a little bit later on. You'll eventually come up to another safe haven light with an emergency cabinet next to it. From there, you'll go to the left and follow the path until you go to a different path with a large tractor. Go to the left and up the hill to the right to grab this chest. Manuscript 9 will be as you're coming up to the third lumber mill area. It's going to be sitting right in front of the main gate. You can't miss that one either. After a while, you'll be going down lumber mill areas. TV1 will be as you're coming up to the third one, and you'll need to go into the small building to get the gate open. In there, you'll find this TV by the button. The 12th thermos is going to be after you fight Stucky in the lumber yard. You'll go under the swinging logs and find this one to the right of a crane. The 10th manuscript is going to be once you actually reach the gas station. Get inside the fenced area and this one will be sitting by the Deerfest truck. The 13th thermos will be after you get to the gas station. Don't go inside yet, but go past it and past the float outside. Below the big gas sign, you'll find this one. Then the 14th thermos will be out on the road even further. Keep going until you reach the part where it's blocked off and you'll find this one. The third Nightmare Manuscript is going to be at the end of the episode at the gas station. The back of the building has some bathrooms and you'll find this one back there. TV2 will be right at the end of the episode as you're getting into the gas station. You'll walk in the back and as you walk past the TV, it'll turn on automatically. Use the option to focus on it to get this one. The first sign will be at the very end of the first episode. Once you're in the gas station, you can check this sign out at one of the end caps of the aisles. The 15th thermos will be at the beginning of episode 2. You're going to go into the room Alice is in and you can grab it by the computer. Manuscripts 11 and 12 will be at the beginning of the episode. You'll be in a flashback and can grab two pages from the manuscript stack on a desk. You'll go through a flashback and then end up in the police station to get sign 2. As you're making your way to the sheriff's office, you'll go through a hallway with a few missing persons posters, and you'll need to check out both the one with the three guys on it, as well as the one to the left of it. Thermos 16 will be slightly later on once you're in the sheriff's station. You'll eventually be able to head towards the cell area, and instead of going in there, you'll go into the break room. The thermos is next to the coffee maker, one of the few natural spots that they put these. The 13th manuscript is going to be in the sheriff's station in the kitchen slash break room area, whatever you want to call that, sitting on the floor. Manuscript 14 will be in the cell area on the third cell's bed. The third radio will be after you leave the sheriff's station and go out the back door. You're going to go straight across the lot and find this radio. The 17th thermos is going to be outside the back door of the sheriff's station. Head straight out the door and you'll see this one sitting next to a radio. The 15th manuscript is going to be out back of the sheriff's station. You'll have to break down a part of the fence and then to the right of the old truck you'll find this one sitting on a rock. TV3 you'll be able to get after you head out the back of the police station to talk to the kidnapper. As you're going back inside the station the TV will turn back on which gets you this collectible. Sign 3 you can get once you go through the cutscene before ending up in Elderwood National Park. Once you can move again, you'll want to head over to the giant mammoth display and read the sign in front of it for Bucktooth Charlie. Thermos 18 will be once you're at the National Park area. Behind the register at the front desk, you can grab this one. The 19th thermos is going to be once you go through another cutscene and end up with Barry at another cabin. Go down to the kitchen to find this one. Thermos 20 will be once you go outside. 
you'll head around the back porch by the hot tub for this one. Manuscript 16 will be a bit later on once you're at the National Park. You'll be going down the steps from the cabin and find this one sitting behind the big yellow truck that Barry drove you there in. The fourth radio will be later on once you're at the National Park. As you head down the path going towards Lover's Peak, you'll need to go into the first cabin and find that radio sitting in there. A bit later on, you'll head to the Elderwood National Park and can get TV4. You'll start going past a couple of cabins on your right and you'll want to go into the second cabin. There, you'll find this TV sitting inside. The 17th manuscript is going to be down the main road until you have a small path off to the right to a wooden covered area. This one will be sitting up there. Manuscript 18 will be back down on the main path and in the back of the crashed car. The 21st thermos will be down the main path heading forward for a bit. You'll have to try to go help Rusty and see a shed near a crashed car where you can grab this one. The 19th manuscript is going to be in the area where Rusty needs your help. Go to the right building before going to the left and it'll be sitting on the stones outside. Thermos 22 you can get after finding Rusty and getting the keys from him. Head to the opposite building and then to the left side of it and you'll find this one by a tree. Manuscript 20 will be once you actually go into the building on the right after helping Rusty. You'll go inside and find this one sitting in front of a door. The 21st manuscript is going to be a bit later once you're going down wooden steps and after you take a phone call. You'll then head over to the left and grab this one from on a table. Later in the chapter you can get sign 4 as you come up to a wooden bridge with a river below. Rather than heading over to the right where you're supposed to, you're going to head up to the left where it leads to a cave. At the very far back of that cave, you can check out this sign. Chest 5 is going to be a little bit into episode 2 while you're going through the Moonshine Cave. Near the end of the cave, you're going to see indicators pointing you to this chest. This should be the point when you get the Finder's Keeper's achievement. Manuscript 22 will be as you're getting up to the fork in the path by a Lover's Peak sign. You'll take the right path up to some picnic tables and find this one sitting on the ground. Sign 5 will be a little bit later on. You're going to be introduced to the brute style of enemy and come up to a large tree with a pathway through the bottom of it. Read the sign that's sitting in front of it for the Great Old One sign. The 23rd Thermos will be after you get past the Great Old One tree and head up to another bridge. Go past the broken phone booth and get over the broken fence to grab this one from by the rocks. The 23rd is going to be as you come up to yet another Lover's Peak sign a while later. This one will be right under the sign. Thermos 24 will be a bit later on once you get to a gate with a tree that's fallen onto it. Instead of just jumping over the broken part, you're going to want to go the opposite way up to a picnic table where this one is. Sign 6 will be even later in the episode. On your way to Lover's Peak, you'll come up to a gate where a tree fell down and mostly blocks your path. Instead of jumping over it, you're going to head to the right, and there's going to be a sign at the end near Picnic Table. Manuscript 24 will be right after you jump over the blocked gate going towards Lover Peak. It'll be sitting on a rock to the left of the wooden path. The 25th Thermos will be a little bit later on while you're using flares to protect the kidnapper. After he unlocks the gate, you'll head up through there, and next to a map will be this Thermos. This is where you should get the damn good cup of coffee achievement. Chest 6 is going to be after you go through a scene with the kidnapper at Lover's Peak. You'll go down near waterfall and turn around to head down the rocky, steep area and into a little cave where this chest will be hiding. The 25th manuscript is going to be a little bit later. While going down the main path and right before you get to a fallen tree bridge, you'll see this one on the ground. Manuscript 26 will be after you go down a path with a bunch of bear traps. You'll get to an open area and can go to the edge of a cliff to find this one. While going through episode 2, you'll eventually fall to where there's a waterfall. A bit after that, you're going to end up going through a path with a bunch of bear traps. Then, after that, you're going to come up to an area where you'll find the third can pyramid sitting on a barrel. Thermos 26 will be a bit later on after you end up crossing some logs over water. You'll go towards a generator and safe haven, and then you'll see a shack where this one should be. The 27th manuscript is going to be a bit later. You'll come up to two shacks by a generator and safe haven light. In the left shack, the smaller one, you'll find this page sitting. Chest 7 will be a while later on once you reach an area with a plane on your right. 
You'll have to run through the back of the plane and bring the front down. Then you can go up and across the wing to reach a higher up area with this chest. The 27th Thermos will be after you go past the old broken down plane and you get to the next safe haven light. Continue forward to the cliff facing the water mill and then turn to the right and you'll see this one. Manuscript 28 will be once you get to the mill and go upstairs until you get to the weight elevator. Don't kick it yet, but go into the room on the next floor down and out to the balcony where you can find this one. The 29th manuscript will be up at the top of the stairs when you kick that weight to bring the elevator up and then you can just jump across to the other side where you'll find this next manuscript. Thermos 28 will be at the mill. After riding the wooden elevator up to the top, you'll be able to grab this one from in the back corner of the room. Manuscript 30 is going to be after you leave the mill and head out towards a shack off to the left. If you go inside, you can climb over some boxes to find this page. The 29th Thermos will be after the chainsaw enemy fight and a safe haven. You'll go across a bridge to a campground and then you'll find this one to your right on a picnic table. The 31st Manuscript will be inside the campgrounds once you get to a bathroom area. Go in and to the right to grab this one. TV5 will be even later on. You'll get past a chainsaw man fight and then you have to grab keys from the men's bathroom to proceed further. While you're on your way out, this next TV will activate. Thermos 30 will be after you gain the ability to actually drive in a truck. You'll go through a gate and then take a right. Go to the end where the barricade is and you'll find this one. Chest 8 will be later on once you're driving around. You're going to head out of the gate and to the left until you come up to a logging truck in the middle of the road. To the right is a trail that leads to a shed with this chest. The fourth can pyramid you'll come across later on after a driving section. You'll come up to a roadblock near a tunnel. Go to the left towards a safe haven light and you'll find this pyramid sitting on a table. Manuscript 32 is going to be after you cross a big bridge. You can run out to a tunnel that's blocked by a big truck and you'll find this one sitting next to it in the road. The 31st Thermos will be back down the road to the other side where there's a tunnel. Go to the left side along the fence until you get to this one sitting on a picnic table. Nightmare Manuscript 4 will be the only one in Episode 2. Once you get near the end of the episode when you're making your way back to Barry, you'll find this one in the middle of the road pretty close to the cabin. And chest 9 is once you get back to the building that you left Barry at previously. Out in the backyard where you fight a large amount of crows, you'll find a chest out by the cliff walls in the back. Thermos 32 will be in the beginning while Randolph is showing you around. Eventually, you can go to the right to grab this one. TV 6 will be at the beginning of the episode as you're going into Rose's trailer. You'll go through a cutscene there, and then the TV will activate on its own. The 33rd Thermos will be after the cutscene with Rose, then go into the kitchen to grab this one. The 33rd Manuscript will be as you exit Rose's trailer, and you'll see it on the path by her fence. The 5th Radio is going to be after you leave Rose's trailer. You'll head back the way that you came, and eventually you'll find this radio sitting on the steps next to another trailer. Manuscript 34 is going to be after a cutscene with the cops. You'll then be running away through the woods, and you can find this one to the left after you drop down. The 35th manuscript will be after you see a cop car crash, then follow the road to the right of it, and this one will be on the left at the end. Thermos 34 will be a bit later on after a helicopter scene. You'll run up the steps of the tower to grab this one from inside. The 35th Thermos will be after you exit the tower and make your way to the searchlight that needs power. To the right, you'll have a rock with this one sitting on top. The 6th radio will be a little bit later on. You're going to start getting flashbangs and then you can head to the next safe haven light. From that one, you're going to see more supplies sitting next to this radio. Manuscript 36 is going to be a bit later once you go across a bridge. You're going to look to the right to find this one along the edge of the cliff. We'll be a bit into this episode once you get to a fork in the main path. The right path will have the chest markings visible and will lead into a cave with a generator and a chest. Thermos 36 is going to be right before you get to the radio station. 
You'll find it under the billboards to the left of the building. The seventh radio is actually one that you get automatically during the story. You'll come up to the actual radio station where all of these segments have been playing from, and during the cutscene, you'll get this one. The 37th manuscript will be after a radio cutscene and head down the path where you'll find it by the fence. Manuscript 38 is going to be once you arrive at a generator to create a safe haven light. Go to the right from the light and go up the path until you get to a wall. Then go to the left from there and you'll eventually come up to a cliff where a radio tower is and you'll find this one by it. The 37th thermos will be as you're making your way down from the radio tower and some crows will attack you. There's going to be a cliff over to your left with this one sitting there. For Can Pyramid 5, you'll eventually get to a radio station where the host is and you'll then continue on. You'll end up going down a cliff for a bit and then come up to a truck with lights next to it. Nearby, you're going to find one shack with another smaller shack next to it. And in the smaller shack, you'll find this pyramid. This would also be the point you would get the Carney achievement if you got all of the others, so feel free to skip the rest if you want, but I will keep going through them just in case you missed any of the others. The 39th manuscript will be a while later when you have to fight a lot of Taken at a shack. A bit later you'll come up to a gate where this one will be sitting. Thermos 38 is going to be a little bit later on after you go through a few small shacks. You'll end up following the path to another small shack with this one inside. Manuscript 40 is going to be a bit further down the main path, and you'll see this one to the right on a rock. The 41st thermos will also be on the main path and to your right after you get a phone call. Chest 11 will be a bit after the scene where you go to the radio station and you're making your way down from there. You'll have a phone call and then shortly after that have a tree stump with a manuscript on your right. Face away from that stump and go to a shack nearby to grab this chest. Manuscript 42 is going to be after you go over a bridge and poltergeists will attack you. You'll go up the hill to the left when you get out of there, and you'll find this one near the ladder. The fifth nightmare manuscript will be a bit into episode 3. After the radio station, you'll get to the bridge with all the poltergeists. Once you get out of that, you can go up the hill to the left and find this one from on a tree stump. The 39th thermos will be after you go through a bridge with a bunch of poltergeists. You'll climb up a ladder and see it forward and to your right over on a pallet. A while later you'll be able to get TV7 after you go into a train depot. You'll go upstairs and the TV will just be sitting on a table for you to activate. The 43rd manuscript will be after you go through a large building, go upstairs and exit out. Then it'll just be sitting over to your left. Thermos 40 will be a little bit later when you come up to a possessed bulldozer. After you get through the gate to leave that area, this one will be on your right in a window. The 41st thermos will be after a cutscene and you're on your way to the coal mine in a truck. Once you get to some stacked logs before a broken bridge that you have to go under, you're going to need to go to the right to find this one sitting on a red chair. Moving on to the Mirror Peak area, you're going to get Radio 8 after passing under a broken bridge. You'll see stairs leading up to a building on your right, and you'll find this radio inside. The ninth radio will be a little bit later on as you come up to another large tower. Go up there, and you can get this radio from in there. Manuscript 44 is going to be a bit later as you drive up to an area with a big red barn to your left. Go all the way up the wooden stairs to find this at the top. Sign 7 will be a while into Episode 3 once you're actually driving to the coal mine. You'll drive for a bit until you finally reach the outside of the mine museum. There's going to be a building in front and a mine over to the left. To the right of that mine, you're going to see two signs that you need to read for this. Thermos 42 is going to be a little bit later on once you get to the mine museum. You'll go into the mine that's on the left to grab this one. The 45th manuscript will be a little bit later on once you get to the mining museum. Head towards the entrance and you'll run into it on the walkway. The 43rd thermos will be once you go into the actual museum building. You'll have a phone call and then you'll have to drop down and this one will be sitting on one of the shelves. Manuscript 46 is going to be a bit later once you hit a button and then have to jump down a hatch and you'll see this one next to a gear on the main path. Thermos 44 is going to be a while later after you have to go turn off power in order to get up some stairs to enter another building. 
Go up the ladder inside of the building and this one will be sitting on a red chair. The 47th manuscript will be quite a while later, after you have to turn off power and then go into a large building. In there, you'll end up finding this one on a wood pile to the left. Manuscript 48 is going to be once you make your way back into the forest and come across it sitting on a rock to the left of the main path. Chest 12 will be a while later on into the chapter. Eventually, after not seeing many collectibles for a while, you're going to reach a fork in the road, go down the left path, and you'll eventually go into a mine where you can find this one. The 45th Thermos will be a little bit later on once you come up to a fork in the road. The left path will head to a mine, and then if you go to the right of it, you'll eventually come to a wooden platform leading down with this one there. Thermos 46 will be across the bridge and you'll end up coming up to another split path. Go down the left path and you'll eventually come up to a small red building where this one is sitting. Nightmare Manuscript 6 is going to be once you get to the graveyard with the fast take in and instead of going to the right when you get to the ghost town, you're going to go to the left to find this one. The 49th Manuscript will be a little bit later on once you get through the sort of graveyard area and you get to a ghost town. You'll see this one near the edge of a bridge. The Seventh Nightmare Manuscript will be in the same area to the last. You're going to go right on the tracks and across the bridge, then you can find it in a shack to your left. Sign 8 is later on after you pass through a graveyard area. You'll go across a bridge and to your right you're going to have the Grey Peak Gorge sign. The 47th is going to be a little bit later on once you cross the Grey Peak Gorge Bridge. You'll go across that and then take a right, then a left, and then head straight into the red broken down building to find this one. Thermos 48 will be as you're attacked by a possessed train. You'll have to then grab a key from it a small shed, and this thermos is sitting right behind that shed. Then, even later into the episode, you're going to fight a possessed train and then have to open up a door with a key. As you go into that locked building, TV8 will turn on automatically. Chest 13 will be shortly after you defeat a possessed train and unlock a door. You'll climb a couple of ladders, head up a hill, and then go to the left until you start seeing the yellow markings to lead you to this chest. Manuscript 50 is going to be after you go into the mines and you get to a big area with a couple of options on where to go. Go down the left side and you'll come up to some broken trees where you'll be able to see this one near the entrance to that area. The 51st manuscript will be after going back through the mines towards the main path and you'll drop down to see chains swinging and this one sitting on your left. The 49th thermos is going to be after you get into the big mine area. Eventually, there's going to be a big enemy that breaks through the wall and you have to fight them. Then, you can head through that opening and you're going to find this one on your left as you're running through. Manuscript 52 is going to be as you exit the mines and go to the right up some stairs. Climb up a ladder and on top of a small tower you'll find this one. Can Pyramid 6 will be even later in this episode. You're going to go through some mines and then go on a cable car where you'll be attacked by birds. Once you fall down, you're going to run up the hill to a safe haven light, and then you'll find this pyramid on the railing where the cable car should have ended. Sign 9 will be after you go on the cable car and fall from birds attacking you. Then, you'll run up the hill to the safe haven light and read the sign next to it for the Cauldron Lake sign. Thermos 50 will be a bit later on once you go across a large bridge. Right after walking off that bridge, you're going to turn to the left and go up a cliff to find this one. Chest 14 will be a bit later on after you use a cable car and fall from it. You'll be going down the main path and eventually have a large rock on your right. Look off to the left and you'll see another big rock that you can go behind to find this one. The 53rd manuscript will be as you come up to a broken bridge. You'll have to go out to the left around it and you'll see this one on the path. The 51st thermos is going to be after you go up to a large building where you go up top and the roof falls in. Once you go back up and jump off the other side, you can then turn around to face it and head around the right side to find this one. Manuscript 54 is going to be a bit later once you go through a big building and head downhill on a path to the lighthouse. You'll see this one sitting to the left on the main path. Episode 4 will start out and then you grab sign 10 as you follow Dr. Hartman outside. Once you go out there, you can go to the plaque on the giant sundial to read it. Thermos 52 will be near the beginning of this episode. 
Dr. Hartman will lead you outside and then back in. This one will be sitting on the main desk. Sign 11 is shortly after that once you head back inside. Opposite of the main desk in the middle, you can read a sign by a door that says Creator's Dilemma. Sign 12 is also shortly after that. You'll follow Hartman some more into another hall, and then you can look on the right for a sign that says Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. The 55th manuscript will be during the cutscenes at the beginning of the episode. You'll be handed this one by one of the Andersons. TV9 is going to be a few minutes into this next episode. As you're running back upstairs to go to your room, it'll play automatically. The 53rd thermos is shortly after that once you run back upstairs to go back to your room. Once at the top of the stairs, you can head off to the right and grab this one from on the railing. Manuscript 56 is going to be after you go back to your room and have a cutscene. On your way out, you'll grab this by the top of the stairs before heading down. The 57th manuscript will be once you get the keys and go through the locked door. Head into the door on the left and grab this one from on a table. Thermos 54 will be in the room that you find Barry in. It'll just be sitting right behind him. Manuscript 58 is going to be automatically given to you during a cutscene shortly after finding Barry. The 59th manuscript will be a little bit later on while trying to escape the clinic. You'll come up to a room with a TV, and this one will be sitting on the right by the door. The 55th thermos will be as you're making your escape from the building. A giant possessed sphere will break down the door to let you through, and once you get outside, you can go around the right of the building to find this one. Sign 13 is going to be a bit later while you're trying to escape the lodge. Once you're outside, you can go up to the statue that's outside in the middle to read the plaque in front. Manuscript 60 is going to be after you get to the hedge maze. You'll take the right side path and then go right again at the intersection. Then take a left and you'll find this one by a tree. The 61st manuscript will be further through the maze. Once you get to an area with benches, you'll take a left, then another left, to find this one sitting on a bench. Thermos 56 is going to be after you're going through the maze area of the resort, and you get to a gazebo with the enemy boss there. Inside that gazebo, you'll find this one. Manuscript 62 is going to be once you get to the next safe haven light. You'll go to the shed nearby to find this one. The 63rd manuscript will be a little bit later on once you have to use a flashlight to clear a possessed gate. Right past that, you'll find this one. Can Pyramid 7, you're going to get near the end of the first section of this chapter. You'll go through a hedge maze, go through a few other sections of this botanical garden type area, and eventually you'll have to break down this gate with your flashlight. Go through that, and over to the right, you're going to find this pyramid. Chest 15 will be pretty close to the end of the garden area. As you're walking down with the water on your left, you can take a right at the end and follow the rocks until you get to this one. The 57th thermos will be a bit later on in this area as you get to the portion with a little bit of water on your left. You'll come up to a table with this one on it. Manuscript 64 is going to be at the point where you're getting back to Barry at the end of this section, but rather than going towards him, go the opposite way and you'll find this sitting on a ledge. Thermos 58 is going to be once you're on the way to Anderson Farm. You'll go over a minecart bridge and then over to the left. Before you go to the mine, you're going to want to run back onto the wooden platform for this. The 65th manuscript will be in the next section. You'll come up to a mine in an area with a lot of poltergeists and find it at the end of the tunnel. Manuscript 66 is going to be as you're trying to blow up a possessed gate with a streetlight. When you go up to power it, you'll see this one sitting on the ground. The 59th thermos will be once you reach a campsite with a few tents, and you'll find this one sitting here. The 67th manuscript will be a bit later when the light is talking to you. It'll drop this one down for you automatically. Manuscript 68 is going to be shortly after that when you go past some bear traps. You'll come up to a stone building and find this one next to a generator. Thermos 60 is going to be after some bear traps and you come up to a building. Go around the left side, up some stairs, and this one will be sitting in the window. The 61st thermos will be after you get through another bear trap section and reach a cabin. Go in there, to the left, and this one you'll find sitting on the kitchen counter. TV 10 is a while later when you're heading out to Anderson Farm. You'll go through a trail with bear traps and then eventually reach a cabin. 
Inside of there, you can go upstairs and into the right room for a piece of the story to play out, then just go into the other room upstairs for this TV to automatically start. The 69th manuscript will be after you have to jump out of a window from a cabin later on, and then you'll grab this one from on the porch outside. Chest 16 is going to be a while later, while you're heading out to the Anderson farm. You'll go upstairs into a building and meet a guy that's dying. Then, once you leave that building, you can run around outside to the cellar doors, and head inside to find this one. Thermos 62 is going to be after you get into a truck and start driving. You'll end up coming up to a tractor on your right where this one will be sitting. The 63rd Thermos will be a bit later on once you get to a fork in the road. Go over to the right and you'll find this one by another tractor. Chest 17 is shortly after that when you find a cabin on the left. The chest will be inside. After a while, you're going to get to a section where you're heading to the Anderson farm. You'll eventually pass by another big radio tower, and you can then head up there to get that radio from inside. Chest 18 is also shortly after that once you're forced out of your vehicle. You're going to go past the windmill and keep running with it on your left, and then go inside of another building where you can find this chest. Nightmare Manuscript 8 will be the only one in Episode 4, and it won't be for a while in the episode. But before you get to the stage battle, you'll be able to grab this one from an outhouse by a cabin over to the left. Thermos 64 is going to be as you're arriving at Anderson Farm. Once you reach the bleacher area, this one will be off to the left. The 65th Thermos will be as you get to the stage with Barry. Once through the cutscene, you're going to want to turn around and grab it from over by Barry. Manuscript 70 is going to be after the big battle on the stage at Anderson Farm. You'll go off to the right and around back to find this one. Then shortly after that, you'll find the 71st manuscript once you get to the big barn with a cardboard cutout in front. Head around the right side and all the way out in the field over by a tractor, you'll see this one sitting on a wagon. After the battle on stage, you can go get TV 11. You'll end up going up to a barn with the entrance blocked and your cardboard cutout out front. Once you get inside of there, this TV will be on the right side just a bit back from where you entered. Thermos 66 is going to be in the big barn that you have to clear the door to get into. On the right side of the barn behind the TV, you'll find this one. Manuscript 72 is going to be inside of that big barn. Just head in there and go up to the second floor where you'll find this one. Sign 14 will be a while later into the chapter once you're at Anderson Farm. You'll eventually go into a large barn with your cardboard cutout in front of it. Once you're inside of there, you're going to go up to the second floor and pass the green button that you need to press to move on in the story, and you're going to see the Old Gods of Asgard poster that you need to check out for this sign. A while later in this episode, you can get Pyramid 8 when you go to the Anderson Farm. While there, you'll go through a fight on a stage and then head on out to a big barn with a large boat inside. Once you use the boat to break out of that barn, you're going to see this pyramid sitting over to the left. The 67th Thermos will be after you use a boat to bust out of one barn and then go to the next. Inside of there, you're going to run upstairs and you'll find it on the third floor sitting on a shelf. Much later into the episode, you can then get the last radio, Radio 11, after you go through the big barn with a boat that you use to bust down the door. You'll go to the next building on your way through the story, and up the stairs you'll be able to find this last radio and get the KBF-FM achievement. Thermos 68 is going to be after you let Barry out of a building, and you run to the actual house. Once you enter, go to the right into the bathroom, and you'll find this one. The 69th Thermos will also be in the Anderson house, sitting in the kitchen on the counter. The 73rd manuscript will be a bit later once you get to the actual Anderson house and head upstairs to find this one. Manuscript 74 is going to be at the beginning of this episode once you're finally able to get out of the jail cell. It's dropped by the FBI agent that gets... taken. The 75th is going to be right next to the last one. Thermos 70 is going to be as you're following the sheriff. Once you get up to the front desk, you can grab this one from by the window. The 71st Thermos will be shortly after that once you get the outside gate open. As you proceed and fight through the Taken, you're going to head to the right on the street, and then see this one over by some benches on your left. Chest 19 will be shortly into the chapter once you're out of the sheriff office area. You'll come up to a big road, and for the story you'll need to go to the left, but for this chest, you're going to go to the right all the way to the gate, 
and then head over to the left on the side. Chest 20 is a bit later going down the main road. You're gonna have some warehouses on the docks to your right and can head down there. Then go up the stairs following the markings to find this one. Thermos 72 is going to be in the diner a little bit later on. Just walk inside and it'll be in the middle area behind the counter. Manuscript 76 will be a bit later as you're running down the streets with the sheriff. You'll come across a familiar looking diner that you'll need to head inside, and this one will be inside of the bathroom area. Can Pyramid 9 you'll find while you're going through the town. Eventually you'll hear a car alarm on the road after passing the diner, and then you're going to see a hot dog stand with this pyramid sitting on top. The 73rd thermos will be further down the main road. You're going to find this one under the Deerfest banner over on the left side. Thermos 74 is going to be after Sarah opens up a gate that she has to unlock. To the left, as soon as you walk through that, you're going to find this one over by a grill. The 77th manuscript is going to be a few buildings down when you finally get to go inside the mayor's office and it'll be sitting on the floor next to a podium. DV12 is going to be after you defend Sarah while she's unlocking the door to a large building. Go up to the second floor and this TV will just be sitting there. Chest 20 is going to be in the mayor's office. You'll head upstairs and into the room over on the left to grab this one. The 75th thermos will be in the mayor's office. As you're going through your objectives, you're going to be attacked by a Taken that bursts through the door. Inside of that room and to the right, you're going to find that one. You'll go through a bit of this chapter before getting to sign 15, but then you'll have a cutscene and you'll be facing a park. Go up to the large statue for this sign. Thermos 76 is going to be in the bookstore. You'll see this one in the window as you walk in. Sign 16 is shortly after that once you go into the bookstore. Look to the right of the desk and read the paper on the wall for this one. Manuscript 78 will again be a few buildings down inside of a library. It'll be sitting on the desk in the back. Chest 22 will be as you're exiting the bookstore. You'll head to the left and check inside a shed for this one. The 77th thermos will be as you're going through the playground a little bit later on. To the right, you'll find this one sitting by a sandbox. Sign 17 will be after the playground area where you find the church. Read the sign at the entrance of the building for this one. The 79th manuscript is going to be outside of the church. Instead of going inside once you're able to, you'll want to go out to the right and go into a yellow truck to find this one sitting in the back. Manuscript 80 will be inside of the church. Just go in there and it'll be on the podium in the main area. Thermos 78 will be down in the basement of the church. It'll be in the back left corner. The 81st is going to be out back of the church when you're on your way to the helicopter section. At the end of the last set of stairs, you'll want to keep going straight to find this one on top of a picnic table. The 79th thermos will be as you get up to the helicopter area a little bit later. Look over to the left and you can grab this one from on a bench. Thermos 80 is going to be after a cutscene where you're attacked by birds. Once you're back in control again, you're going to look to your right and grab this one from by the fence. The 81st Thermos will be inside the nearby building. You'll have to go over the fence and fight a bunch of enemies, but then you can grab it from the other side of the building. Chest 23 will be as you're getting up to the outskirts of the Bright Falls Light and Power Station. You'll drop down in there and then head to the left to get this chest. Manuscript 82 will be a bit later on once you start getting to the power station areas. You'll go through a few gated areas and run into this one on the main path. Thermos 82 is going to be once you get up to the area with a bunch of generators and electrical equipment. You'll have two large taken enemies attack you and try to trap you, and once you get through that part that they try to trap you in, you can look to your right and this one will be sitting on some pallets. The 83rd manuscript is going to be in the same sort of area, but this one will be on top of a container with a red chair. You'll have to use a little scissor lift to get up there. The 9th Nightmare Manuscript will be after the power station area in Episode 5, where you end up coming to a bridge with a control room. On the road, you'll see a school bus on the left, and you can go grab this one by the door. The 83rd Thermos will be after you get to a small bridge control room. To the right of the office is this Thermos. Sign 18 is going to be once you reach a control room before a large bridge. As you exit that, you can read the sign to your right for the bridge memorial. Thermos 84 is going to be after you get across the memorial bridge. 
You'll go into the control room on the other side, and this one is sitting on the couch. Much later into the episode, you're going to be able to get TV-13 after you go across a large bridge. There's a control room on the other side, where you'll go inside and get this TV. Chest 24 is after the helicopter comes back by to give you a little bit of light support before being chased off by birds. You'll be facing a large building and can go down to the right to grab this one. The 85th Thermos will be after the helicopter comes back to give you some support. Then you'll end up at a large structure shortly thereafter. This one will be around the building in the parking lot area in front of a shed. Sign 19 will be after the helicopter is chased off by birds and you come up to the power station doors. This sign will be to the right of the big doors. Thermos 86 is going to be in the building where the lightkeeper lady is. Just run into the room on the side and it'll be sitting on the ground on the right. Nightmare Manuscript 10 is going to be after the bridge with the control rooms. Once you get to the building with a weaver, you'll go down to hit a switch that she once flipped, and you'll need to run left around the fence to find this one sitting on a rock. Then, Can Pyramid 10 will be after you meet the Lady of the Light much later into the chapter. She's going to ask you to go flip a power switch, and once you get out to that switch, the pyramid will be sitting to the right of it. Sign 20 is going to be at the switch where you have to activate the floodgates. On your left, before you go up there, you're going to see this sign. Manuscript 84 will be after a cutscene where you follow Weaver through a pipe, and once you get control again, you'll head straight through to find this one on the left. The 11th Nightmare Manuscript will be after you go through the pipe with Weaver. You'll end up going towards the crashed helicopter and see a big fallen tree trunk on your right. Go down there to grab this one. Chest 25 will be right after you run up to the crashed helicopter with Barry and Sarah. After the fight sequence, you can go to the left of the Red Shack and go up into the cliffs for this one. The 87th Thermos will be a bit later on as you're going up a hill to an elevator. There will be a large pipe on your left and this one is sitting inside of that on the ground. Thermos 88 is going to be after the elevator. You'll look over to your right and this one will be on the cliff edge past the railing. Sign 21 will be while you're trying to get onto the elevator with Barry and Sarah. You'll need to read the notice sign that's next to the button. The 85th manuscript is going to be after you're split up from Barry and Sarah again. You'll run off to the left to go through a fenced area and find this one sitting on a rock on the right side. The 89th thermos will be after you have to use a searchlight to destroy some enemies. After a bit, you'll come up to a building with a spiral staircase and this one will be sitting at the bottom on the ground right before you leave. The last TV, TV 14, will be in the last episode. You'll be in your apartment having a sort of flashback and go through things normally. Once you go up to the TV to watch it, that's going to count as this last one and get you the Couch Potato Achievement. Thermos 90 is going to be after a cutscene, and once you have control, you can grab it from the table next to you. Sign 22 is going to be after you've been driving for a bit and you come up to a rest area on your right. There's going to be a big sign that says the Majestic there that you can read. Chest 26 will be shortly after you get past the large majestic billboard. You'll see a logging area on your left and then you can head down the hill to a shack where this one is sitting. The 91st thermos will be after you start driving for a little bit. You're going to want to stop at the tunnel and go to the left to a barn. This one will be on the side sitting in a box. Manuscript 86 will be a little bit into episode 6 once you go through a big tunnel. This one will just be sitting on the road. Sign 23 is once you actually reach the Majestic Hotel. Enter in there and read the black sign for this one. Nightmare Manuscript 12 is going to be a little while into Episode 6 once you get to the Majestic Hotel. You'll go into the lobby and grab it from on a bench. Thermos 92 is going to be at the Majestic Hotel. Inside the lobby area, you'll want to look over to the right and grab it from in the bathroom. Yeah, I know, it's weird. What's up with people just leaving coffee thermoses in bathrooms in this world? I, I don't know. For Can Pyramid 11, you're going to need to keep driving until you reach the Majestic Hotel. If you're going for the Gunless Wonder achievement, you're going to need to not shoot any guns during this time, which will make this collectible a little bit more complicated, but don't worry, there's still a way to do it. Outside of the hotel to the left, you're going to find this pyramid on the wall. You can either shoot them or just jump onto a car and then jump onto the wall and run over to kick it. Either way works. Anyway, the 93rd Thermos will be after the poltergeists on the bridge. 
You'll go back into a car and then have to fight a monster truck by luring it into the barn with a bright light. Go out the left door and run straight out to the house where this one is sitting on the porch. The 13th Nightmare Manuscript will be a bit later once you get to a barn with a bright light that you have to use to fight a big possessed truck. Go up to the top floor to find this one. The 87th is going to be a bit later also in another tunnel once you get to the end, and this one will be sitting again in front of a big truck. Manuscript 88 will be quite a bit later. You'll be driving up to the entrance of Larson's, but you'll want to go around the roadblock and to the end of the road to find this one stuck to a truck. Sign 24 will be once you drive up to the large blockade near the Larson's gate. To the right of that gate going up there, there's going to be a white sign that you need to read before proceeding through. Chest 27 will be after you get up to Larson's. You'll go around the side of the building and all the way into the back and you'll find this one. And then the last sign, sign 25, is going to be at the front of the big door that you have to go through to actually enter Larson's. Just over to the left of the door, there's that sign to read. Thermos 94 is going to be a while later on once you finally get to Larson's. Inside the building, you're going to head to the back left area and it'll be sitting on a shelf. Then for the last can pyramid, number 12, you're going to be driving some more and then come up to a big roadblock. You'll go up to the right to Larson's and then once inside the big building, you'll go up for a while until you finally come out onto a deck. This pyramid is going to be just sitting right out here. And a quick reminder, if you are going for the Gunless Wonder achievement, you'll still need to not use a gun. So, you'll have to just jump at it and eventually you'll get that knocked down. This one is a little bit harder than the last one to knock over that way, but you can still do it. Nightmare Manuscript 14 is going to be once you get to the Larson's Scrapyard and you find it in the main building on the second floor. The 95th Thermos will be while you're driving out to the junkyard. Before going over that sick ramp that you come up to, you're going to get out and grab this one from the right side. The 89th Manuscript is going to be in the junkyard area, which is Larson's. Once you get up to a safe haven light after a big open area, you'll find this one sitting on an oven. Chest 28 is going to be after you leave the big junkyard area. You'll eventually reach a safe haven light with a shack to the left of it, where you can find this chest. Thermos 96 is going to be further on the path when you get ambushed. After you defeat those enemies, go into the building on the right side to find this one. Manuscript 90 will be a bit later once you get to an area with buildings and have to use a searchlight to clear a bunch of enemies. You'll have to push a minecart to get into a building and then can grab this one from in the back of that building. Then chest 29 will be after you go for a very short minecart ride. You'll run past the next safe haven light and to the left through a crash train car to find this one. The 97th thermos will be a bit later once you ride a minecart for just a second. You'll end up climbing up a ladder to a wooden platform where you push another minecart while you're being attacked. On the other side of that, you can grab this one from under a covered area. Thermos 98 is going to be after you go a while and things start falling from the sky. After the second thing falls, you can go to the left into a red train car to grab this one. The last chest, chest 30, will be after you go up a large amount of wooden stairs, up to some wooden buildings, and go into the one on your right to find this chest. The 99th Thermos will be after you jump out of a building and have a large silo nearby. This one will just be sitting right behind it. The 15th and final Nightmare Manuscript will be a bit later once you have to get power up for an elevator, and it'll be behind the generator on a fence. At this point, you should get the Collector's Edition achievement. The 91st manuscript is going to be a little while later on once you have to fight enemies and get a generator up for an elevator. When you get up to the top of that and get off, you'll be able to pick this one up off the ground. At this point, you should get the picking up after yourself achievement. Then for the last thermos, number 100, it's going to be after you defeat the tornado, go to your apartment, and start going through a part of the game where you're just shining your light on words to proceed. You'll end up near a couch with the word thermos, Shine the light on that to grab this last one. And with that, we have all of the collectibles in the base game of Alan Wake.